Rebecca from Kansas City, or Visit Kansas City, Kansas here. Happy Friday, happy 2018. We are so excited to be kicking off our first Facebook Live of the new year here at Chateau Avalon. Now, in case you didn't know, Chateau Avalon is an award-winning hotel in the Village West area of Kansas City, Kansas, and it's just outside the Legend Shopping and Entertainment District. Uh, Chateau Avalon offers 61 suites with 23 different themes. I am joined today by Chateau Avalon owner Steve Beaumont. Steve, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for starting your 2018 here. Yeah, How's we're excited happen? to be here. Now tell us, what was your inspiration behind starting Chateau Avalon? Because this is truly unlike anything in the area. Yeah, it, it is, and we tried to be that way. Um, I'm a hopeless romantic, and I just believe that uh, couples need to spend more time together. They need to get away from their children. They need to be a couple first and a parent second. And so I endeavored to create a chateau or a, a hotel that was not like anything else. And as you can see from the outside, it looks like a French-inspired chateau on a hilltop um, that doesn't belong in KCK, but it really does. There's so much to do out here. This area, the, the legends and Village West has taken off. So um, it's just kind of a nice little transplant. It doesn't yeah. fit, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. One thing I really like about Chateau Avalon is it's right next to all the hustle and bustle of the legends and the shopping and the dining that you can do there, but it feels truly secluded. It is indeed. In fact, when uh, I came and chose this site in 2003, the only standing structure was the Kansas Speedway. So I looked at 440 acres here. I knew that Nebraska Branch Mart was going where they were going to go, and I knew that Cabela's was going to land where they were. Other than that, it was a bunch of trees. Yeah. I was covered in chiggers, but I think I picked a great spot. <laughs> Perfect opportunity. So obviously, we want to talk about the different theme suites. So how did you go about choosing these themes? Highly scientific. I asked my friends if this sounds good. Oh, nice. Yeah. This, okay. is in, this is in the days before Google and all those things, right? So all I did was I would come up with these ideas for themes that I thought might be fun for couples to visit, and I sent something called mail. <laughs> Not email, but snail mail. mail. Yeah, snail mail to all my friends, and I said, hey, you and your wives, judge which ones of these themes sound fun. Uh -huh. And then from that, I got the ones that were most uh, uh, endorsed or, or liked or intriguing, and then I designed rooms around it. Very cool. Well, we are going to go check out some of those rooms right now. Great. I'll let you lead the way. All right. I'm sure it's not going to be necessary to support the board. Okay, so which room are we headed into first? We're going to take you into Tuscany. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the design of Tuscany. This room is actually, a lot of people ask me, what's your favorite? And I will tell them that the Tuscany actually is my favorite. Um, it's a place I've never been. Mm -hmm. Like so many people that stay at the Chateau, we, we want to escape to places that maybe are beyond our reach. And I decided I wanted to design a Tuscan room, and I really felt like we captured it. Uh, creating the stone staircase and the stone balusters was a really hard project, but it was worth it at the end of the day with a bedroom that's upstairs, as you can see, and then a beautiful stone fireplace over in the corner. Um, I just I, I know people write in the guest books all the time that they felt like they left Kansas City. Yeah, definitely. So let's check out some of these unique amenities in this room. So what um, are, so when people are staying at Chateau Avalon, they can choose different packages, right, to kind of enhance their stay. Absolutely. We've got uh, wine and, and spirits here. Uh, we've got a great bar downstairs called Denial. But we also have packages that are, uh, you know, in addition to rose petal turndowns and chocolate covered strawberries and things like that, we also are now going to, in 2018, launch adventure packages. Oh, okay. And this will be really exciting for those of you watching this on Facebook. Stay tuned because we're going to start... Uh, announcing some of these partnerships outside of the hotel where you can go zip lining, where you can go visit a winery and play full-size, life-size chess pieces on a giant chess board, um, where you can learn to throw hatchets downtown. Just a lot of really fun partnerships that the Chateau is going to do to make 
the experience of being together and the memories that you create here just make it a longer period of time. Yeah, let's go perfectly hand in hand with each other. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. All right, well, let's go check out another run. Great. show you something kind of fun. Okay. Stand right under there. All we right. call this the echo chamber. You're the only person that can hear this. Hello. Hello. Is that yeah, loud? Yeah, I can hear myself talking. Yeah. <laughs> only you get to hear that. The person <laughs> standing there. I hope the people watching on Facebook come by and try that sometime. Yeah, I hope you can right. hear that echo. This is the most special room in the hotel. This is the Monte Cristo. Okay. And it's three stories tall. Wow. This is ginormous. Obviously, every room is very different and offers something truly unique. So what would you say is the most unique thing about this room? Well, clearly, there is no other hotel room in Kansas City where you can get three stories. Yeah. I mean, we look up, we're looking 35 feet up in the air. So, uh, yeah, if we want to walk upstairs here, you can see the, the landing upstairs is the bedroom. And then one floor up from that is your uh, jacuzzi tub. What's Monte Cristo based off of? The Count of Monte Cristo is a great book. Uh, it's a story of a guy who was imprisoned wrongfully so, but in prison, a, uh, a pirate of sorts showed him where he had a hidden, the world's biggest treasure. Okay. And so he went from being a prisoner to the world's richest man. And it's a great story. And then what do we have back in here? Uh, upstairs, we've got the uh, the jacuzzi tub. Okay, uh, and every room room. has a jacuzzi tub. Every t every room has a two person jetted tub, um, and all of our tubs have aromatherapy or uh, chromatherapy lighting, which okay. is you push a button and we got different LED colors. Okay, and then change. one good thing I always hear about Chateau Avalon is the robes. Oh, it's called yeah. robes. Yeah, you know, you, you, if you're in a resort, you always expect to have a robe. Uh, if you want to go to and from your spa appointment, you got to have a robe. Mm -hmm. So um, we've got these big, luxurious terry robes that are for honeycomb on the outside and a really thick terry cloth on the inside. Okay. Sounds amazing. So you just brought up the spa. What are some spa packages that guests can get at Chateau Avalon? We have a lot of spa packages. First of all, we're one, of, one unique destination in that couples can get their massage in the same room. Mm -hmm. That's an unusual thing in, in most resorts around the Midwest. So uh, A, a couple can get their massage together. B, we'll do facials. We have wraps. Um, in the winter, I love a hot stone massage. Have you ever had one? Uh, I have not. Oh, you've got to come <laughs> back. you got to come back. Our hot stone massages are absolutely wonderful in the wintertime. I'm sure they're good in the summer. But uh, it's a lot of fun. We do uh, aromatherapy as well. Okay, very cool. All right, well, we have one more room to look at, right? I think so. Okay. I hope so. All right. So some other themed rooms besides what we've looked at today, what are they? Uh, we didn't get to see Camelot, okay. which is a very popular room. Uh, it's on the first and second floor. And um, we've got Roman Dynasty, Jesse James Escape, uh, Hemingway's room, Egyptian Palace. I can go on and on. Wow, I, can look, yeah. I can see this 23 times. Yeah. Not repeating the thing, right? <laughs> right here is the Castaway Isle. Is this it, Castaway Isle? I'm not or sure if that's what getting... we're looking at. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to look and see. Oh, I'll sorry. Be right It would appear to me that they did not leave the last world. Oh no. <laughs> so we'll go back this way. All right, we've got a Serengeti open. Okay. And you're gonna be greeted right away with oh, a rhinoceros. Wow. You won't see that every day. Look at this guy. Okay, so tell us about the Serengeti room. Uh, again, what's more exciting than a safari, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that was an easy one. I think when I, when I put this on the list uh, to my friends, 
almost 100% of the people thought a safari sounded fun. Yeah. Now, it wasn't named Serengeti at the time, but I said, would a safari room sound exciting and, and adventurous? And it was a big Definitely yes. Definitely adventurous. So, a lot of fun designing this. Um, that rhinoceros was originally going to be an elephant, um, but at the last minute, I just thought the rhino was, was a better grab for what I wanted to do. And if you look over in the corner, I actually had a crocodile carved as well. Oh, These are not things guy. you can buy out of He doesn't catalog. bite, right? No, he does not bite. <laughs> yeah, so Tammy says Camelot is her favorite room. And then we have a question from Jessica Gibson that says, are the renovations done? They are not. We're still in the process. Uh, uh, Jessica is paying attention. We've done some hallway renovations. We've done some renovations in denial and on the patio. Next step is going to be renovating a couple of the rooms. We might even add a couple more Tuscanies to the hotel. Oh, very nice. All right, well, why don't we head back out to the lobby and we'll talk a little bit more about right. what Chateau Avalon has to offer this year. Thank you. There's a Tahitian tree house. Through here? At New York Penthouse. Mm -hmm. County uh, needs a great place for sit-down entertainment with a beautiful patio, and that's what we've got. Um, Pat, our bartender down there, is, he gets rave reviews. You can find him all over Yelp and uh, TripAdvisor. They yeah. love that guy. We like Pat in our office. Well, good, good. And we just started last year doing a, uh, a live music series okay. on the patio. So and will you be doing season. that this year? We're going to pick it up again. Um, we got great, uh, great turnouts from the Piper area in the western part of the county. We're really starved for some good classy entertainment over here, and good cocktails always go well with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, now, you also um, have uh, fun events that you can do for meetings and corporate groups. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Uh, we've got a, right above us here is the Beaumont State Room here in the Chateau, and it can sit, sit 22 people. Okay. Um, we had two events in there this week already where corporations come and rent a bunch of rooms and then take that. Uh, sometimes they'll want to do some fun projects. We'll do a brown bag wine tasting where they try to guess, you know, which one's the most expensive wine. Sometimes you surprise yourself. Most of the time you'll surprise yourself. Um, so in addition to the wine tasting, we've also got a game called The Amazing Chase based on the TV show The Amazing Race where you basically solve riddles going from room to room in teams. And it's a great team building thing. It's a lot of fun to watch. I, I truly like to come up and just be a fly on the wall yeah. and watch these guys compete. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Um, all right, well, obviously Chateau Avalon is great for anniversaries, romantic weekend getaways, trips with your girlfriends, and Valentine's Day it would make a great Valentine's Day gift. Valentine's Day. Right, yeah. yeah so what kind of specials do you have for January, February, around the Valentine's Day holiday? Great question. Right now in January, we've, we've launched a new program in 2018 at the Chateau where if you bring another couple with you, so in other words, instead of coming by yourself, bring another couple, get a second room, make a party of it, make an event of it, and you get 25% off okay. by bringing a second couple. Uh, in addition to that, come February is when we're gonna launch a lot of our specials for the month of love. It's not just about Valentine's Day in February, it's the month of love. Right. And uh, so we, we have a lot of specials running around there. We'll have uh, specials on some champagne and rose uh, petal turn down packages, chocolate covered strawberries, I would say that uh, your Facebook friends here should stay tuned in the next week or so, and we'll launch some fun surprises for February. Alrighty, well, yeah, where can people find you on Facebook? Um, you know, where online can they find you? Great, good question. Um, ChateauAvalonHotel.com is our website, and that's, not many people can spell Chateau, by the way. You so want to spell it for everyone? It's C-H-A-T-E-A-U, AvalonHotel.com. Remember that. That's right. And then on Facebook, I think we're Facebook with forward slash Chateau Avalon. But look for the one that says Chateau Avalon Denial Wine Bar. And that will give you all of our latest and updated things. In addition to that, we're also on Instagram. Okay. And we're on Instagram. Don't know. Okay. Chateau Avalon? Right? I'm an Instagram right. guy. So I guess we're, there on we Instagram. go. I'm yeah. seeing you guys. My daughter would kill me if she saw that. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. So, yes, be on the lookout for Chateau Avalon's
specials throughout February, the month of love. We at Visit Kansas City, Kansas wish you a very happy weekend. We have all kinds of fun attractions lined up for our Facebook Live series throughout the year, so make sure to check back and keep up with us on those. Thanks for joining us today. You want to say bye, Steve? Yeah. Bye. Valentine's Day. <laughs>